Hello, in this uh, brief tutorial, what I'd like to do is show you one of the newest exciting features of the Posture Array system. As you know, Posture Array is the only way to quickly, objectively document your x-ray findings with the benefits of educating your patients with a view box and also with our uh, unique reports, which uh, there's no other software system that can actually duplicate what Posture Array does. So what I want to do is I'm going to show you using this as a quick view. We partnered with an animation company, uh, 3D Practice, to incorporate their animations in our Viewbox software. So what we're going to do is let me go ahead and find somebody that we have x-rays on. And this is the, the um, new quick view. As you can see, this patient wasn't created. So let me go ahead and put somebody else in here. Uh, this person should have some x-rays. Okay, and so with the quick view, as you can see, this is our dashboard of the digitized x-rays. Let's go ahead and get a closer view. And as you can see in the view box with Posture Ray, we, we of course can, we can draw, we can circle, we can still find their global findings. Um, but what's new here is our partnership with a 3D practice. So what we can do here is from this, we can go ahead and relate the patient's subluxations to their organs. So we can open up this, um, animation and actually just go through and show them how their posture and their spine relates to organ health and how those nerves go and uh, control and coordinate the function of everything in their body. Um, there are many other animations uh, that we use. For instance, when we go through and we're looking at uh, x-rays and people will come up and ask the doctor, well, you know, I have sciatica. How does this relate to going down my leg? because the, the patient comes in with you know a disc problem here in their low back and you're educating them that these nerves come out of the IVF and go down their leg and into under th under or through their piriformis and down in uh, in their sciatic nerve so a couple things they do have a nice piriformis um, uh, animation which is right here which you can if you believe it's a piriformis syndrome you can go ahead and demonstrate this with their animation, which will show the sciatic nerve and how the piriformis interacts with that and it can create sciatica. As well as uh, if you wanted to go through and show them a disc ailment, we can go ahead and show them the bird's eye view of a disc problem. Let's go ahead and, and show them, say, a right lateral problem. And we can go ahead and blow this up and show them as the disc protrudes it will actually encroach upon the nerve root and this really drives home um, the problem with their spine and what's nice about this new animation module from 3D Practice is you can draw right on the animation as well um, quite powerful for patient education um, also I what I like to do in these cases too is demonstrate you know the dermatomes I like to show this to patients so they can see that those nerves give rise and go down their leg. Okay, how powerful is that to show right from the view box? And then we can go ahead and move back and actually go through. Okay, wonderful new feature. And of course you can go ahead and show that with from the regular view box, it's there as well too. So if I was gonna show that patient again, and let's go ahead and uh, let's say find. We'll go ahead and show their lateral lumbar against normal and AP lumbar against normal. So <clears throat> obviously we can show them normal and again there's that 3D icon. So now we can go ahead and pull up any animations that we want. Um, if they had a spondylolisthesis and we're showing that to the patient, we can blow this up and actually show them, hey, you know what? Right here is where your interolisthesis is. You know, you know, right at that grade one. But we can show that left uncorrected uh, if it gets to this point. They may need surgery at this point. Hopefully not. As a chiropractor, we don't want those patients to have surgery. Um, but we can actually show them what their problem is. For the first time, patients will understand. Using these animations by 3D practice, we can now educate the patient not only on their x-ray, but right in this position, we can actually show them, you know, how important it is. So, for instance, if they had, say, tropism right here, we could go ahead and open up the new x-ray animation, come down here, show them what that means. 
Let's blow this up, make it a little bit bigger. So they could see hand in hand what we see here at the difference with the facets. Okay, and we can show that as well. Or as if they had, say, a transitional segment. There's an animation for that as well, too. This is quite common that we want to show this to our patient. So we could show them if they had sacralization or lumbarization of their lumbar spine, which is quite common. We can show that to the patient. We can still, we can always draw it right here and educate the patient right here. And then we could circle it on their x-ray as well, too. We could circle if they had that problem, which, you know, in this case, they, they really don't. Um, but <clears throat> I just wanted to go ahead and, and share that exciting news with you. Um, again, we have partnered with 3D Practice with their unique animations, and boy, do they have a lot of them to bring to Posture. They have quite a few of all the ones that you'd want to show to a patient. For more information, you can browse to our website at www.posturco.com or you can visit 3D Practice at comvantage.com. That's C O M M V A N T A G E. Dot com. Thank you.